watch Iceland and versus Persia Saudi Arabia. Again, a very survivable Let's go. flex support. Yeah, Surmaja definitely does have oh, like God. that survivability, especially on the Kiriko now. But on the other the side, on Fera Ilios, Junker Queen and Cassidy, at least in the World Cup thus far. Yeah, I mean, very edgy. That was disgusting. Ryan, uh, yeah, getting edged out there by Quartz with a directed and hedge and, and hit by the Ash at the same time. At that point in time. I think did Yazan just hit a double direct on half a core? Over to Yazan, but by then the damage is done. Surma Jed cleaning up, and Saudi Arabia. I mean, did they even take damage in that fight? Quartz took a little bit, but. Easy well, prime sub that skips. The support ultimates on Julie thinks the three months. Christmas smash is a little bit of damage at the very <laughs> least, right? Um, but it Iceland's like a pretty good very, team. Very going into this. You can like they're not crazy, the but they have some pretty good players. So like, you're an ash, I don't expect decided, this to be a stomp. Up on the forward spawn bridge and right? try to just shoot into them as they come out of their spawn. And Yazan obviously doing work on the Farah, but we haven't really seen a real fight come into play between these two teams just yet. It seems like they're going to try and force it. Yuzan with the Mercy Pocket taking down Orion, though, but the Echo from above, <laughs> nicely done from Half a Cool to take down Yuzan, but Quartz quickly trades that, and of course, the Mercy coming in with the Resurrection onto the pocketed Farah. Yuzan back into the fight very quickly. Did you see that? Is going Dude, this World that's Cup's going to get fair and nerf, I swear to right God. Now, Half the Cool does not, and that's that Mercy, you know? Even if yeah. Yuzan gets a little too aggressive, you can still have Haku coming with the Res, Bail him out you still have that damage boost you still have that healing to keep him up in the fight half a cool if he wants to stay sustained has so to aggressive with it Rizzi, and that's not reliable enough yeah, so I mean, aggressive with it. Well. <laughs> so Wait, he committed for the kill and fell off. Just you know, focus on burst healing. But Sir Majed has barely really taken out the healing. Hey, got one. Much. It's almost all the kunai and doing a lot of DPS. Sure things are fine. The Valkyrie has come out. That's the only ultimate that we've seen from Saudi Arabia just yet. They have all of their ultimates up. Their pace. Wait, they're actually so spawn holding them. The ultimate economy. Or Bob. It seems like Iceland are a little bit at a loss for what to do here. They are switching onto the tracer though so orion can try and touch and contest the point for the there overtime, two years but let's go is there any follow-up from iceland it holy like shit that was kind of a stomp yeah, they didn't even let iceland out of their spawn there like yeah sure orion gets the touch but then saudi arabia get to stand <laughs> Sorry, on the point and just be like, yeah, do it again I Dude, that was actually you. kind and of a stomp happens and even if he had the blinks to get there to point you saw like you know, the rampage is ready to I didn't think this would be that big of a stomp. I, I thought Saudi that Iceland Arabia, actually yeah. had a pretty decent like, team from what we saw yesterday. That Saudi Arabia needed to invest that whole time was the Valkyrie from Haku. And, like, honestly, even that's debatable. Iceland didn't even really get an ultimate up, you know, aside from, like, three months. from Krizzy, which I guess speaks to how much healing he's been having to do and how little damage the rest of Iceland has been capable of doing. Saudi Arabia just kind of running away with this. We're going over onto ruins, and Saudi Arabia gonna pull out the pharmacy yet again. Big surprise. But a Widowmaker, which I think might make things interesting. I want to see how Quartz and Orion uh, pair up against one another. Yeah, I think uh, the Widowmaker nurse also do come into this. I'm not sure if that's like over 70 meters back there, but with the Widow Pocket, the, she mm -hmm, can still one shot, mm -hmm. or a Mercy Pocket, she can still one shot from a little bit further away. Um, right now, Widow Ilios. We haven't seen one of these in a while. Well it's actually one of the few maps where the Widow nerf actually meant a lot. Um, because of the damage that's coming in, but KSA with their not from the spot they're playing right now, now but if you play back on like above the mega. This round, though, just outright stepping onto the point, but Jed taking out Dude, Apple the Widow out actually dominates the sightlines so well there that Yazan just gets free shots. That's terrifying. Like, what do you do? Do you peek the Widow and get headshot, or do you stay in one spot and just get? And it, like pushed out by kind of rockets like one eventually. Of those situations where it's kind of a Sophie's Choice sort of thing, or a reverse Sophie's Choice for Orion, because it's like you're the hit scan player. You constantly have to be looking for Yazan. Where is he? But you also have to be worried about Quartz. So you're taking two duels at once, and so you can see that Hafikul now is going to go ahead and make a swap onto the Widowmaker to try and help things yeah. out in that regard. There, put a little bit spot more on with that Yuzan analysis. At least give a little bit. You really of have to. Into it's too many things to fight at once. So maybe Quartz won't be breathing down Orion's neck from afar the whole time and maybe they could Orion go like the done. diva comp too they could Chrissy, go like tracer somber diva oh, yeah. somber deals with the widow 
Tracer just helps deals with backline. Diva try to like protect your supports and fight off the Pharah type of deal. Ooh, a little shot right there. Hey chat, did you miss that? Did you see that? Four widow shot misses in a row. The next time you see me miss shots in a row and you guys all start spamming gold aim, papega aim. It happens to everyone, to okay? Anything to stop them, at least definitively. They have, you know, taken down Haku, who, again, like, uh, this team see, yeah, another miss, comps, right? another miss, another miss. It, it happens. Resign, so they know how aggressive their mercy can play. They know what reses they can go for and how to cover for those reses, so they can always have Yazan in the fight. Yeah, and when you have a player as good as Yuzan, there comes the Rampage out and the Barrage Damn. as well. It's terrifying. Just like Mercy never really gets too much play, but then you have a far that is. Are all these players top 500? Uh, they're all actually gold. No, you said you're new. I won't. With you. Yeah, this is top level play. We saw on the first round top 500 is a, a ranked ladder nice term. Job, Ryan, top 500 doesn't actually mean much. No. Real talk. You if you're talking like actual best, the best of Overwatch, top 100 doesn't mean much. No but like all of these players are typically rank well one or close to rank one. That wasn't close. even close, though. That was actually a stump. That was a stump. Next map is going to be Havana. Let's watch the uh, second half of this absolute kind of shit Everybody stomp that's going on. To play. You were saying Dude, watch what happens to the Widow. When it goes out to the, the, the side here. And far, you're Bang. And then this but Widow, go, Orion goes to look for it, misses the shot, Orion gets forced out. Meanwhile, way, Quartz is on the oh, flank, gets no two more shots. The Dude, they literally just picked them apart. Someone needs to call a doctor for Oklahoma. Essentially nothing done on a spawn hold. Look at their ult charge. There's not any. Like Saudi Arabia, they've already gotten, you know, Yazan able to just fly freely now. They're uh, way ahead in ult charge and they've gotten so much cart progress. Iceland has a chance to attack here at this first corner, and, or sorry, has a chance to defend here a little bit longer, but they have to get a little bit more for their money than they have so far. Yeah, now Saudi Arabia, they are still really far forward with the checkpoint. Quartz has taken Ooh. a really good position, but it's been spammed out a, bit. a little bit spammed down, and there's really no way for them to get a good heal off. But since they have such a team, they're just isolating every fight. They're just outright winning every fight. It's not even a struggle for them, it seems. So it's, Quartz it's, is kind of, yeah. It, it's hardly even a fight, and Quartz is, yeah, still getting the better of Orion, gonna be able to... They haven't even capped point A yet, and Quartz can already take this oppressive high ground angle, where, yeah, through this doorway, you can see... Oh, Damn, they had to use the shield to force him out, and now he's got a good angle and, again with no shield. Behind them, because now Quartz is behind them. Yazan is above them. They have to move forward. They can't really go anywhere safely. They're lucky that they're even able to touch. Saudi's spatial awareness of their DPS sightlines is actually insane. Also, that might have been quite possibly one of the nerdiest sentences I've ever said out loud. And since they have the barrage, they kind of have the zoning tool as well. The mercy from above. The way they control space is terrifying. Sermajed just firing away. Uh, and then there's the resurrection for Yuzan. Of course, bring the Farah back into the fight. Now capping on the first checkpoint. Yeah, over four minutes to start working through distillery and Iceland. I mean, this is going to be a little bit more contained where Yuzan shouldn't be able to get away with much, but it's Yuzan, so he's still going to try to. And. You know, still gonna be able to get out alive and control these boilers. Half the cool, what are you doing, my son? Where was uh, poking your head out just a little bit too much there? A damage boosted rocket that might have even been a direct hit. Just to delete I don't think that was his fault. There was a shield there. He just got booped to the left and got one tap. Iceland, they're gonna have a lot of ultimate abilities, sure. But will they even be given a chance? Is to this live? No, I'm a pre recorded uh, stream. Just gonna keep finding pickoffs and force the snowball all the way through the distillery. Yep, that, that I mean, might answer like... my question. <laughs> okay, well, Quartz already getting back. Damn, the good boop right there, keeping them spread, huge. can't get together. Finishing off the kill when Razan is doing so much damage once again, and of course the resurrection comes through. That's as an AI. Hey, I ain't that big of a at bot. At this point, might Dick. be a little bit, you know, mental boom. But Oklahar at least is able to get that one pick with the annihilation, and Krizzy does find. That was a great pick, though. The May, the May the shot on the Pharah. So they needed that. Pocket the widow instead. They're able to hold just a little bit. Saudi Arabia. Goes ahead and 
Be Holy be shit, Sir Majed is deep. Yeah, actually, almost got you him. Check Quartz's PC. I don't think the Widow nerf patch has been applied to his copy of Overwatch 2. I think he's still playing on <laughs> old patch Widowmaker. Because I mean, you wouldn't even know by looking that she got nerfed. You wouldn't even know that she's like oh, so much more difficult to play. But with all the free space okay. that Yazan and that. It, yeah, it, you know what? Actually, it's more or less that a lot of people just start whining and talking about, oh, Widow's gonna die. Actually, the character was just really strong this whole time, and the, the, the nerfs actually didn't kill her. <laughs> She's still good, so. Havana's another map where, like, if you cap at all, it's kind of an achievement, right? Saudi Arabia are looking to do it with about two plus minutes in the bank, potentially. Okay, well, they've got three and a, over three minutes, over three and a half minutes to get to the third and final checkpoint. There was barely any fight in Distillery. Big spam there was right a here. A little bit of that Big sign spam. of life with them being able to kill Yazan twice in a row. So that Mercy Res was basically nullified. Can't DM at all. But Yazan is still able to have such free range. They are so close to the spawn. They're doing so much delay as well for their squad to just be able to fire away with the projectiles, with the rockets. And there's just not much they can do. Yeah, and like, uh, Hathicool is going to swap over onto the Sombra. We Thanks have Ryan for playing all the good now content. Ryan is on That's great. The Appreciate the two months, dude. know it by the way that Yazan is still free and that Quartz is still picking off backliners. Yazan does a really good job of just playing cover at all times. It's not definitive. The res is there and KSA with the Annihilation, so no one can And just like, he makes that. plays like this and right Yazan now where it's just so aggressive again. that... Yeah, and it forces him to make mistakes. Well, Quartz capitalizes on looking straight up and just gets the kill. So it's like, Quartz, it's a really good DPS combo, and it's a good sign of a really intelligent player when you see your other DPS going to make an aggressive play, and then you look to capitalize on it, you know? Because that guy's all, like, he's obviously going to look up. Like, most people think about an Overwatch, right? Like, the difference between a decent Overwatch player and a good Overwatch player is a decent Overwatch player will think about what they need to do next. A good Overwatch player will think about not only what they're gonna do next, but what is the other gonna do? Other guy gonna do in response? And a great Overwatch player will think not only what they're gonna do, but what the other guy's gonna do in advance, and then also how he's going to anticipate what he's gonna do and capitalize on it. Good sleep. And Yazan, I think he's caught out. Definitely so, here at the very least. what they were doing there is every time Yazan goes really, really aggressive, the other DPS is thinking, okay, my teammate's going to go do this, which means that he, like, they're going to look due to this to stop it, so I can get aggressive here and look for an opportunity. That's a sign of a great player. So that's why yeah, Carthew isn't a great player. He doesn't think at all. Correct. Now because he's like, too okay, busy like, talking to his chat 90% of the time. Many times. Okla okay, Oklakar is able to get the self-destruct off, take Haku out of the equation, so no more reses for this next fight. Yazan needs to be a little bit more careful because he doesn't have that pocket, but the rest of the squad is still on top of it. KSA with the switch on to the D.Va, and Yazan just having Good a diva swap, lot actually. of damage in the bank with the Echo. A nice Another little, neutralization, uh, nice though. little nap there uh, for uh, for Firthark there to be able to contest the card there, making sure no one tries to back cap. But KSA, not quite done with this one. Quartz has the sights, and Orion's head needs to be on a swivel. Dude, what a shot! That's on the okay. ground. Currently. He didn't even finish Quartz, the peak on this down. on his screen. It looked like. Yeah, Quartz is. You gotta remember, a lot of these players are probably playing on ping as well. Like when we talked to Jakaru earlier, we found out Kai is playing on 160 ping. That's crazy. Over. That's not a bad time bank at all. Iceland did have a few sides of life right at the end there, but I did not come here from Karki stream to get him here to hear him get roasted. As well, being very very close. Well, the you did. Currently was and Saudi Arabia, they have a very comfortable time. That was a much closer map. Yeah, quite comfortable. Or not as comfortable attack, as it could yeah. have been. Iceland did, you know, did a... All did a Saudi games have 110 ping latency minis, the minimum there, on? No they, shit. They just kind of delayed the inevitable. Yazan on the ground for some reason. I don't know what that's all about. That's That seems like a, seems like a glitch in the Matrix there, but... <laughs> just a little bit of a glitch in the Matrix. I mean, Saudi Arabia, they have gone... Right, the Sojourn is... I, I don't know if this is... <laughs> well, I mean, they're going to go for the Sojourn, so it's whatever. But Iceland, on the other hand, they've gone for the Sombra on half a cool. They've gone back to the Ramatra as well, and a Baptiste on a backline. So they're kind of acutely aware of how much damage Saudi Arabia dishes out, and they're trying to get as beefy as the burst supports as they can possibly get in terms of healing Oglahar, though they're able to isolate KSA with the Maywall. That's pretty Not good. Not going to kill him. Just try and keep... Not 
Oh, gonna kill him. So much nah, you'll kill him. Sir Majed. However, now with the Nemnus Storm, Oklakar is able to finally take down the Ramatra. Iceland the Ramatra just puts the block up and hopes for the I mean, best, so and then they get the rezzed. <laughs> so long for them to finally take down KSA, and there's Haku now what? Rez, so you don't even have to wait for the respawn. Now what? They might be able to dispatch Haku. Now you gotta do it all over again. It doesn't matter. What? Uh, look at blocking again. What else is there to say about Quartz Put the right walls now. up Quartz behind him, cooking. and he dies. KSA falls again. That but might be a way <laughs> it's literally just. Iceland, but the only way in is the same way out. Oh man, it's so Quartz. dumb. It's so dumb. Quartz isn't even taking a safe position, right? Eliminated with the <laughs> yeah, anti nade, and there's. Okay, there's this is not land. No, this somehow, isn't land. Oklahar, there wasn't really anyone except Sir Majed. They're really trying to focus down the back line now and KSA. Like, watching this has made me genuinely realize the reason why I'm not having as or not as much success recently on tank. I mean, still doing okay. Like, I'm like probably 50-50, but like not above 50-50 like normal. It's because literally my play style is like more playmaking and I want to make get kills and I want to pop off, but... If you watch most of these games, like the tanks just basically AFK as long as they can until they find someone who's at a position and then they get aggressive. But they play so safe. They play so safe now. If you make, if you go too aggressive, you just instantly die. And like picking things like Ramatra, you just basically sit there and just like, you know, and just try not to die. And you see KSA is over on the Arisa now. The reason you go over the Arisa is because like you have enough buttons to outlast the the Ramatra punches and the May freeze. It'll last long enough now. But basically, you're going to be useless otherwise. You can kind of bully the Ram a little bit, but not really. I'm only the Prime. Cool Zulu, he's the Prime. They never show tank POV nowadays, it's Sag. Well, they only really show DPS POV, I've noticed. Very rarely do they show support or tank DP or uh, POV. And to be honest with you, I think it's mostly because tank POV is very boring. You're basically just slowly poking, trying not to die, be smart with your positioning and your cooldown management. And wait until you build ults, and then you can try to make a small play, but it's nothing crazy. It's all highlights of DPS shots, rockets. Those are the people that are actually doing shit. They at least know where Quartz is, so they can focus down the Widowmaker. And Yazan, it's up to him to try and take oh, that was disgusting. the pressure off and take the pressure off he does. Orion out of the fight. There is no People are Widowmaker more familiar with DPS POV. That's not necessarily true. That is not necessarily true. It's a pretty new change to Overwatch 2, actually. Not able at least to this World Cup. I don't know if it's like that in Overwatch League 2, but at least this World Cup has been way more DPS heavy than any other role. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got him eventually. And meanwhile, the rest of Saudi Arabia just claps Iceland. Quartz has fallen again, so this might be a way in. From the outside of Overwatch? I don't think many people from outside of Overwatch are watching, though. Yassan knows what he can get away with. And oh, what? What is happening? That is, there is no way you let that happen to you. But I mean, I don't. I mean, what were they gonna do? You can't. Saudi Arabia, very dominant. The two. It's weird. Rush League, the only observe top supports. Do you think it's because they make more plays as the top support players? Bring them up in the ranking. Pretty much. Damn.